Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 234 of my Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. Alrighty then, we just, well, head back here. No, yeah, that'll work. Uh, we just Let's helped get word. her family's murderers under control. We're going to go back to the village now and hand another bounty we've collected over here. And then Karen checking villagers out and also rest. We might actually level ourselves today too. What's wrong with this? Here. I didn't really like the fact that the other people jumped in. So we had to kill more. We only want to kill one, but they all attack, so. So even killing basically innocent people and burn her house down. And I guess the complicated thing was because when he comes, oh, he thinks I'm one of them. So he threw it in. But to me, he's, you didn't have to throw it in. Ready when you are. Okay, let's go to the. Let's speed up. And this bounty's in. Rest. Nice. Garrett and you, of course, I'll be honest. I'm worried those fools were going to end up here and burn down the rest of the village. Gives you a purse to full, almost to the point of bursting. Nice. Do I have any more bounties? Cool. I'm going to rest them up. And then level them and then start looking around the village for more souls. We obviously we know the the girl in this inn we could convert, but I feel bringing a thief back and she's probably a bit too young to do it with, so uh, to bring that person into like two places that's returned. Okay. Okay, we have this too. An unwoven path. Among the kind wayfarers, in the event that a member of the order dies of natural causes, it is customary for the paladin. Uh, to request a burial in a dangerous place that is difficult to reach in fulfilling their lost comrade's request. The other kind wayfarers forge new paths that others may more easily follow. When the elder paladin, uh, Adirine de Fles, so this is why I always say it's fully voiced, I just butcher everything, died, his brothers and sisters set out for Red Flower Lake in a remote eastern part of Reed Soever, but they never reached their destination with so few kind wayfarers left in the in that part of the eastern reach, the Order has reached out for assistance in recovering their comrades and helping see them to their resting places. The roads to Red Flower, Flower Lake turned out to be even more dangerous than the elders of the kind wayfarers had expected. They believed that the attacks against Arundua's funeral procession had been carried out by orcs. Instead, Kainan and the kind wayfarers intents discovered irritants? Uh, twisted two-headed orcs of incredible size and ferocity. Oh, great. Recovering the paladon's bodies was costly, with five more intents dying in the process. Okay, that went well. Not. In the end, Kana and seven kind wayfarers reached Red Flower Lake. There they held a service for Aram de Flara, and the others had died to make their way to Summit. On the way back down into its place marked canaries along the trail to indicate when it had been cleared by the kind wayfarers and at what cost. Okay, I don't think that's canaries because I don't think they're birds. Okay, yeah, that's some boots. Alrighty then. Let's have a nice sleep. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Uh, I like the room. Top quality bear pelt. Boom. I also want to see if you've got any more woods that have been gone. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Nothing like a. Ah, you got two. Nice. And I need two. Beautiful. I've got them terms over here. Uh, major endurance. Beautiful. Okay, we probably should level up people. So let me save here before I do it. And then we can start looking around the village again the next episode, because more likely probably going to take the rest of the episode to do. Okay. Okay, how many points? At seven, nice. I can't go up to that, I can go up to this. That must be my max then, I guess. 
So points to advance for, oh okay, how many points spend that guy? So my ranks. So athletes I'm top notch. Uh, stealth not really good, lore I've gone up a bit. I thought we had other stuff like the perceptions and stuff, or, or was that to do with some of these? Because I have obviously been in this for so long. Tell you over there. Athletes. Survival. Access to camping bonus. Law. Plus Drew, plus Mercer equals four. Okay. Uh, knowledge and trivia often of a coat or such on topics outside the conversation, script interactions, law is used to activate scrolls, higher law values allow characters to use higher level scrolls. Oh, I can go up with that, I need nine. Characters level, huh. What's athletes giving me right now? Second wind. Transport difficulty, I think the others got that. Survival. Uh, I've not really put focus stealth on him this time around, have I? I think survival law five four. I ain't gonna have enough to do both, am I? Oh wait, no, it's three five. That's that's eight. Still want enough to do both. Fudge. Uh, maybe we should just hold off. Some news points will carry over, so I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Okay, one remaining. Okay, what can we do? Has to be a level two, okay. Oh, a new taste of the hunt. That'd be nice. That's the one what gets a finger, isn't it? Um restoring adorance as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. I haven't really leveled that much, I've got one new move, so I've held it off my things. She has six points, stealth seems to be the focus. Uh, oh, mechanisms, awesome. That's why she's a good traps. Survival. Yeah, because she couldn't do anything while we're resting, could she? So receive healing, so I want at least to get to two. There. Bonus movement, that'd be good. Uh, I think two so you can get the healing. Second wind, recover if lost endurance. Can we can use second wind? Oh, so that give her a bit more health. Grass 25 endurance. 30. Oh, it increases it. Okay, that's not bad then. She got one. I haven't really looked at the moves, I haven't seen what she has. Uh, she got escape. What's Death Blow do? Range. Get some strike. Rogue attempts to greatly hinder opponents. Targets are affected by two or more conditions. Okay. Okay, so she's got conditions on his better. Deep wound do. Oh, these are a lot of passive ones. Okay. Go with a death blow on them. Small screen do. Death blow. Let's have another divvy. Oh, she's really pushing the level up. Mm, powerful order. Camping bonus. Ah, oh, seven. Why not? Okay. Ooh, play dead. The ranged animal companion falls over and appears to be dead. Cannot be targeted for a limited time while playing dead. The companion regains endurance. Oh, that's really quite good. What else is there? 
That's just call. Calls the ranger's ammo companion to his or her side, causing the companion to move back to the ranger. Increase speed, ignore an engagement, and knocking any enemies down. Oh. Driving flight. Each range attack loose, lo uh, loosened by the ranger contains such force as to fly straight through the first target. Hit another. Ooh. Passive. Less damage. Oh, that'd be good. Go with that one. That means it automatically every time she does it. I think you asked focus with Lorf with you, wasn't I? Yeah, looks like it. You were the main person for all that stuff. Okay, you should have gotten two at least. To get the heals. No wonder you're not getting it. Okay. So, two. Oh, I do one as well. Okay. Can't do any others though. We're still alive, George. That's probably the best one. Holy power, dude. Oh, wait, concentrating ground. A long lasting circle of healing, regenerating all, uh, all endurance. Allies of endurance, sorry. 11. Yeah, I think that one. Nice. He's more my tanker. So that's why his athletes are pushed up to stream. And his survivor's pretty good. Okay. There. Fires was himself for himself between incoming attacks and neighbor allies. So of any damage attack and neighbor allies cut in half with the fire taking them. Oh, cool. So he takes damage to them. Oh, he's half of it. Okay. Oh, how did I miss you out? <laughs> You're my little guy. Yeah, I'll keep you there so we can push more lore next time. Oh, he has a lot more choices. Uh, freezing pillar, gaze. Oh, get chain lightning like I have. Yes. Oh, I have two. Nice. Do it twice. No. What's this? Temporary sacrifice, arcane power for martial might. Wizard gains, won't there? Death ring. Calls black rings of necro energy into being that spent, spreads out direction. So, how many is the touch of potentially destroying those with low endurance? Does it hit allies too? What's the freezing pillar? Spice of ice, freeze damage of enemies in the area. Okay, what else do we have? I'm thinking right now the death ring. Dimensional shift, da da da. Anything that stands out, dimensional shift, I might have a look at in a sec. Dimensional shift, where did I go? What's this one? Switches to locations of the caster and one ally, leaving a shockwave between them. Eh, nah. Just an ally. I guess it would pull them out if I had to. Wall of Force. What's the. Death Ring. Oh! We got another one. Fused with Vital Essence. What was that? Heal. Giving them temporary increased maximum endurance and health. Nice. So it's not healing him, so to speak. Instead of saying he had 100 health points, it's made push him to say 150. But theoretically, if he's down to 50, that'll push him up to 100, so it's, it's kind of temporary heal, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Ready when you are. <laughs> I wish I could carry more camera surprise on the four. That seems silly, like we only carry four. Like 
there's six of you, so each of you should be carrying one minimum. Okay. Actually, we're 15 minutes old. Let's save in this episode. And uh, like I said, next episode we will. 63. What the hell? Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I thought I went work down. I was on 100 for some reason. And in the next episode, we will start searching the village more. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've been mean, Adobe. You've been awesome. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Bye, everyone. Have a good, great, wonderful day. Bye.